The wheel, also called the Catherine wheel or breaking wheel, was used as a tool of torture and public execution up until the early 19th century, with its origins in ancient Greece. The horrible device was most popular in the late Middle Ages as an alternative to being drawn and quartered, but the wheel was used in many different ways to torture people throughout history. The breaking wheel was basically a big wooden wagon wheel with iron spikes attached to the outside edge. There were many different kinds of torture on the wheel, but the one described in 1518 was the most common in the Middle Ages and early modern times. The torture of the wheel involves putting timbers on the ground under the arms of the condemned person and then breaking his arms and legs with a wooden wheel. The same wheel is then used to break the victim's back. So broken and shattered, the victim is left on the wheel and put on top of a large beam that is standing straight in the ground. There, the wretch is left breathing with difficulty. The victims of the wheel were left like this until they died, which usually took hours. But there is one case where a man lived through the torture of the wheel for nine days before dying in agony. People would gather to watch this humiliating public execution as a form of entertainment. The longer the victim survived, the better in the eyes of the crowd. Another, less common way of torturing people with the breaking wheel was like crucifixion. The victim's body was made into an X shape by tying him across the wheel. The bones of the victim were then broken up with iron rods. His arms and legs were stuck in the wheel's spokes. People tortured in this way on the wheel turned into something like a huge screaming puppet rising in blood rivulets. This puppet had four tentacles and looked like a sea monster made of raw, slimy, shapeless flesh mixed with splinters of broken bones. The breaking wheel was also used as an alternative to the rack. The victim was tied to the wheel's rim, and the iron spikes could have gone through their skin. Then, his body was stretched outside the wheel until it looked like a half circle. In some cases, the person was still on the wheel when it was pushed down a hill. There have also been cases where the victim was tied to the wheel in the shape of a cross and swung over a fire until the wood caught fire and burned the victim to death. The breaking wheel is also called the Catherine wheel in honor of St. Catherine of Alexandria. She was an intellectual woman from the early 4th century who was put on the wheel as punishment for not giving up her Christian beliefs. But the story says that St. Catherine was never punished on the wheel because the wooden wheel broke as soon as she touched it. Shortly after that, Catherine was instead beheaded. It isn't known for sure if she really existed, but she was a very popular saint in the Middle Ages. In Germany, the breaking wheel was still used to kill people as late as the early 1800s. It was still used to put people to death in Hesse Castle in 1836. In Prussia, people were killed by cutting off their heads with a big sword, setting them on fire, or breaking them on a wheel. Rudolf Kuhnapfel, I'm sorry if I slaughtered his last name, was the last person to be put to death with the breaking wheel method on August 13, 1841. After that, the practice was banned everywhere. Luckily, human society has come a long way since the days of the breaking wheel. During the 18th and 19th centuries, ideas about justice, equality, and human rights helped end judicial torture and put many limits on the government's power. When it came to torture, the wheel seemed something that every criminal feared. But now it's just a scary thought. But the breaking wheel shows that people can be cruel even when they make important inventions that are supposed to help others.